Welcome back to Zoom TV. I'm now with Cassandra Clementi from Home and Away. Dicko, how are you, buddy? Tegan Nash, host of Saturday Morning Disney. It's Demi Harmon, how are you, Demi? Mr. Tim Coleman. Nathan Butler from Winners and Losers. Jason Dundas from The Big Adventure. Sally and Tyson from The Amazing Race. Chloe and Kelly, how are you, ladies? Four more. How are you, mate? I'm now with someone that I grew up with and someone that I have a massive amount of affection for, Lynn McGregor from Home and Away. Uh, can we stop right there? My name is McGranger. I'm going to tell you a story. Three Far years away. ago, in, at Telethon, they, and when they used to do the intro for the rundown of talent on the stage before it went to air, and please welcome to stage, she's been on Home and Away for 17 years, Linda McGregor. <laughs> I'm standing there going, I wonder who that is. Sounds a lot like me. Oh my God, it's me. I'm going to stab somebody. OK, now let's talk about The Amazing Race, which has made you a house hold couple. <laughs> Tell us about the actual, the whole experience itself. How did you find it? What was it like? Ah, oh, the experience, it was, as you, it's one of those shows where it's, as you see, it is a race and it is a real deal. There was never like, oh, let's do that again. Or say it again, or it, say it yeah. a little bit different. It, if they miss a shot, that shot was gone and ever. You just kept racing. Everyone who tells you that they don't like being famous is a liar because it is awesome when, when you walk into a room and people nudge and point at you and they know who you are. And it's like a drug being famous. OK, so let's get on to what you're doing now. Winners and Losers, yep. one of the most popular shows on the Seven Network. Why is it popular? And can you give me any goss about your character? Uh, can, we, can we squeeze you for a little bit of Zoom goss? Yeah, look, it's popular because it's a fun show. You know, it's a dramedy. The girls are amazing to work with. Yep. It was a suspenseful end to this season. Um, it's a bit of a cliffhanger. You don't know whether my character is alive or dead. So that's the big, that'll be the big reveal next year. And I can't say anything. If you were out there and you were, and someone wanted to aspire to be you, be a professional actor, what, what would you tell them to do? What, what kind of hint would you give them? Just follow your dreams. Like, I know that's cliche and everybody says it, but if you've got something that you want to do and something you want to be, if that's being an actress, if it's being whatever it's going to be in life, then know that it's not going to be easy. OK, so it's on with the Fast Five. Are you ready for that? Yeah, sure. Yep. OK, so you can answer together collectively or chuck out an, an answer separately, but I'll see how your brains merge, OK? Yeah, all right, sounds good. First car you ever owned? Mazda 929 Cosmo. Now, what is your opinion of the worst car on the street? The worst car on the street? It must be that PT Cruiser. Yeah. That's a rubbish shape. Now, what is the uh, best car, of you, in your opinion, on the roads? The best what, car... What is the car you want? The best car that I want, at the moment, I want, like, a, a big Ford Ranger, because they're, they're, they're big, you sit high, you, you know, you've got... You, you, what, you want... Oh, there's lots of girls in the back for my friends <laughs> that are single, like Johnny Ruffo. You might not be able to see it, but there is a Mr. Ruffo over there, prompting fault. What is the car that you currently drive? I have a red Mazda. A tip? Yep. You're not going to give us a big, bigger hint of what it is. You don't know, do Oh, you? Mazda 2. There you go. Yes. <laughs> now, this is the big emotional question. Biggest fear? I have a real phobia of birds. Really? Specifically the flamingo. Really? Oh my god. I, what fact, happened? I just got to shiver down my spine saying that. <laughs> Sorry. Flamingo. Just, oh my god, don't do that. <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't. Oh, sorry. I haven't always had it. Um, mm -hmm. I reckon I was probably about 16 when I developed it. I'm cool with like a little <laughs> pigeon or a small gull or something. Just a flop leg but the just flamingo. the flappy arms. I don't wish them any harm. I just don't want them anywhere near me. <laughs> no. Fine. Yeah. Well, I'm going to wrap it up with that. That is probably, in all the time I've done this, and it's almost 100 celebrities. Wow. That is the weirdest answer I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, good. I'll tell you so I think we're going to wrap it up on the flamingo. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks Jeez. so much, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> that was lots of fun.